Like everywhere, COVID-19 has disrupted plans to get out to the reef. Today, scientists are off to see how experiments on a cyclone-battered reef near Green Island are going. Coral fragments that would otherwise drift away and turn to rubble are being tethered to these steel reef stars. They are permanent structures, they're intended to be permanent, they'll be overgrown with coral and become part of the reef as well. So they're scrubbing off the algae to help that happen. The fish take over after around about two months and do the job for us. We're seeing that here, but I think there's a delay of about probably one to two months. More than three months ago, 165 specially designed reef stars were laid as part of a government funded test site. And we're comparing both where we put those stars in to stabilise the rubble and to with areas that haven't been stabilised. And we want to look at how the trajectory of those sites go over time to say whether we're really having a good impact. COVID-19 delayed this UTS team from coming to the site three times. Now they're finally able to gather samples of the reef. One PhD student is looking at the chemical makeup of the corals in different habitats. The other, how well they grow. Because we're putting corals on frames and the frames are made of a metal, we want to see if that has any effects on the health um, of the coral compared to the corals that are naturally found on the reef. So we know, for example, the iron, um, if it's too high or too low, can have a big impact on the health of the coral. There's another smaller clip to attach coral being trialled here too, designed by a local tour operator. Dr Camp says 85% have stayed on the clip in trials across the globe. It's a little clip that allows us to basically attach corals in all different orientations and eventually the coral grows over the clip and basically blends in. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority says both could be used as part of a larger toolkit. Say for example if a ship runs aground, how do we deal with that small area? And then if they're successful, we can then think about scaling them up. They're also hunting juvenile coral munching crown of thorns. Back-to-back -back coral bleaching in recent years has also substantially impacted the Great Barrier Reef, but there are positive signs of regrowth. While tourist numbers have been impacted by COVID-19, vessels like this one have been participating in a range of scientific experiments, and that includes taking thousands of images of the Great Barrier Reef, but they want people like you and me to analyse them. It's all part of a collective effort. The photos have already been uploaded to an online portal called the Great Reef Census. You can see it's real patchwork. You've got some places that are amazing and some places that are, are really challenged. You don't need to be an expert to do it. It's actually really important that we get a lot of people to analyse as many of the images as possible. 